Welcome everybody out there in internet land. We're a couple weeks removed from the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. And we still have a couple more months before the mid-season premiere premieres um, in February. Until then, I'll let you know what I think will happen at the second half of season four. But one of the biggest things that they brought up in the, the first half of season four was there's this huge zombie horde um, that cut the, the trip of um, Tyrese, Daryl, Michonne, and Bob while they're going to get the antibiotics for the mysterious flu virus. You know, their, their trip was a little bit cut short, so they had to take a detour. Um, and along with that, there was a, this voice on the radio. Um, I'm sure both of those were, you know, the seeds were kind of planted then. I think both of those will come into play later on. Um, obviously, they're trying to make the zombies more of a threat now that they're outside of the prison. I think that we're probably going to see more um, casualties be a zombie as opposed to only being killed by other humans and I guess flu viruses and stuff. So um, I think at least one major character will die. I feel like Beth is the most obvious choice, so I think that it won't be her. I feel weird about it because I kind of feel like Bob hasn't, he hasn't done enough to die just yet, but that obviously hasn't stopped him in the past. I feel like later on, once Tyrese, I feel like they're going to have some sort of conflict with Tyrese and Carol at some point. I think him, he, Lizzie, and uh, Lizzie's sister, I feel like they're going to be the ones to run into Carol after, you know, escaping the prison. And I feel like once that, uh, once they have that meeting between Tyrese and Carol, I don't think he'll last that much longer. Those are the fate of Judith. Everyone's wondering what's going to happen to Judith. You know, they we saw her bloody baby carriage, or her little baby carrying case or whatever, and it, kind of assume that she's dead. I mean, obviously, I've said this in the, the recap for the season, mid-season finale, that they obviously they don't want to show a dead baby, so we have to safely assume, but obviously in, you know, TV and movie universes, unless you see a dead body, they're not dead. So... I think it would kind of make no sense to bring Judith back, especially if they probably would kill her off later. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Judith is dead. And speaking of deaths, the governor. Some people, for some reason, still seem to think that the governor's still alive. So uh, he got shot in the head. He's dead. He's not coming back. I think it would be absolutely ridiculous to bring back the governor. There's, there's no reason. He already, he already had two shots to take him out of the prison. And, I mean, he got his ass kicked both times, so there's no reason for the governor. I don't think he'll be back. Maybe they'll find his severed head or something. I don't know, but he's, he's dead. So Lily and Tara, you know, the only survivors from their camp, I feel like they're going to come back into play somehow. I feel like maybe they'll meet up with, say, Rick and Carl. For some reason, they seem like they were probably moving in that same direction, so... And also, there's, I think it'll be interesting, because obviously they'll have to kind of explain, like, hey, we're part of the group that attacked you guys, but, uh, do you mind taking care of us? That'd be super cool. So, I see them coming back, and maybe at least one of the two surviving enough to become part of the, part of the main cast. And as far as Rick and Carl are concerned, I feel like Carl's gonna take more of a leadership role. I think he, I think Rick is finally gonna have to kind of let go and let Carl be an adult, despite his age. And I feel like Rick's going to deteriorate a little bit. Not nearly as bad as Season 3 where he's hallucinating. And it's kind of like been there, done that. So I think he'll just kind of be more, maybe more reserved. But I don't think he'll go off the deep end like he did uh, last season. And then there's, oh yeah, so, you know, there's this whole debate about, or there's all these questions about where everybody's going to go. Everyone got split up, you know. Car or Glenn was on the bus with all the, all the extras, essentially. And Maggie, Bob, and Sasha all were kind of teamed together. But it seemed, when they left, they seemed like they're moving in the same direction as the bus, so I feel like they'll probably be the first ones to reunite with them. So I feel like they'll get back together. And obviously, Tyrese is with Lily and uh, Lily's sister, and I said they'll probably meet up with Carol. I feel like somebody in the group will probably end up with uh, going to where Morgan is. Most likely, I'll say either Michonne or Rick, or even both, because no one knows where Michonne left. And it was very bizarre that she just disappeared after saving Rick's life. I mean... You would think that you would probably want to team up and, you know, ensure that they both survive. And it was just really bizarre that she disappeared. So I feel like Michonne will probably meet up with Rick and they'll both meet up where Morgan is. And whether or not he'll be hospitable about the return visit is up in the air, but that seems like the best bet for an actual secure place for them to go. Well, as secure as living with the, somebody who's completely gone psychopathic would be. So. But going back to Sasha and Bob, I feel like they're probably going to have some sort of relationship. 
just because that kind of seems to be the way that The Walking Dead goes. Like, someone's got to shack up, and obviously Tyrese is not going to do any shacking up anytime soon, and probably neither is Rick. You know, they're kind of still grieving for their, their lost ones. So, I don't know, I kind of feel like that will probably be the next next Walking Dead couple. So we'll see where that goes. And obviously Daryl, you know, the fan favorite, and Beth, <laughs> the fan favorite to die. Um, I think that's going to be a very interesting um, kind of like... Um, this like team between the two of them because Beth seems to be the least capable of taking care of herself obviously Daryl being on the opposite end of the spectrum but I feel like Beth is going to kind of pull her weight and I think she's going to I would like to see them develop her more than just somebody who takes play takes care of babies and sings and makes faces when her dad gets her head chopped off so I kind of see I kind of have higher expectations for Beth um, for this season I mean she obviously isn't going to be as cool as Maggie cause, I mean who is other than I guess Michonne who's cooler but I feel like Beth is going to kind of step up and become more of a... Because she still felt like, kind of feels more like a recur recurring character rather than an actual main cast member. So I feel like Beth is going to do a little bit more this coming season. So overall, I feel like this next season, obviously, I mean, this... I feel like, for the most part, season four has been very good. And I feel like they're going to continue that trend. Obviously, the governor-centric episodes are very slow and, you know, kind of mixed receptions. I, I like them for the most part even though they kind of were completely negated by the season finale, or the mid-season finale. Um, but I feel like I feel like they're going to kind of raise the stakes now, and probably by the end of it, I mean, obviously, they have. To, I feel like they have to kill off somebody major. Somebody's got to get killed by that huge zombie horde. So I feel like it's probably... I mean, obviously, I think the, two ob the three most obvious people... Three most obvious people are Bob, Sasha, and Beth. And... I don't know, my money is on, probably on Sasha. I kind of feel like Sasha's probably going to die this season. And maybe even Carol. Maybe she'll come back and her return will be short-lived. But those are the only people I can really think of. I don't think they would have the balls to kill off somebody like Carl. And I think they'll throw a few more extras into the mix. Like, maybe we'll get to know some of the, the bus people, just so they can die as well. And I know they're going to be introducing more characters. This is less of a prediction, more of what I've seen in the previews. And supposedly they're going to introduce a character who knows the origin of the zombie virus. And I'm guessing that's going to be tied in with the voice on the radio. So whoever ends up going there, I guess, is going to find that, uh, you know, discover what that's all about. And then there's one more thing it's going to be, is everyone going to finally become reunited in the end? I mean, obviously, the everyone seems to kind of, you know, cross tracks sooner or later. I feel like the majority of them will. I feel like there's going to be at least one or two that just don't make it. They just die or they just, you know, kind of like a Woodbury situation where they end up with a completely different camp and going into the next season, they'll be part of that group instead. So those are my predictions. We'll see what actually comes true. I do not know. I have not read the, well, I've read some of the comic, but obviously they deviated so much. So anyway, I'll see you next season. I'll see you in February and until then... Try not to get eaten by a zombie, and try not to get stabbed in the back with a katana. So, take it easy. And as always, go to pitwar.com, that is P-T-W-O-R, or Punching the Walls Reality. Check us out, leave some comments, you know, any more suggestions. Obviously, this whole video was created because somebody left a comment suggesting a video that I do. So, and his name is James Hamburger. So, thank you for your delicious um, comment and your delicious suggestion. Any other suggestions, I'm open to them. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Goodbye.